and welcome to OnlineGroomingSchool.com. My name is Yvonne and this is Sarandon. She is a full purebred Maltese. Isn't she adorable? This is what you would call a perfect specimen. This is a dog that doesn't live in the backyard. Um, basically she's an inside dog and you can tell she's a poser. <laughs> uh, the parents really take care of her. They, uh, they brush her daily so it's important if you want a dog to look like this Maltese it's important to brush them every day so I'm um, just oh, I just wanted to show you a, uh, what a Maltese really should look like they have a nice silky coat uh, they usually wear their coat long okay um, one of the things that you would do with a, with a coat I'll show you how we can uh, trim out the feet but I wanted to show you uh, the tools that you would use if you had a dog that walk into your shop with a full coat like this. Okay, say hi Sarandon. <laughs> She's very good. If you say, wanna go to grandma's? She pays attention. Yeah, oh, say cameraman, say that. You wanna go to grandma? See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right here we're gonna be using, again, Sam, the Yellow Breed Dog Grooming Guide by Sam Cole. And um, with a full Red Maltese. Basically, there's not a whole lot of clipping. You can tell here this is a long coat, just like Sarandon is in her coat. And what Mr. Cole uh, suggests, obviously, is brushing, a really good conditioning shampoo, um, uh, how to part the hair in the middle uh, to, to, to make sure that both sides are the same length. You do have to trim the ends on occasion for splitting or breakage. Uh, but basically, it's just a long coat. You would still do all the sanitations that you would do normally on any breed. Um, but again, nails, um, and obviously boats, uh, the bows make a difference. Okay? And then what we'll we use for, for, for her as far as uh, tools today, we would use, you know, curved scissors, straights, and uh, a hairpin is always handy to help you part the hair while you're working on sections, uh, a slicker brush, soft slick, slicker brush, and finally a greyhound comb. So I'm just going to show you just a little bit. You're not going to do a whole lot with a, with a dog in this shape. They're basically, she's just coming in for maintenance. But then after her, we have another Maltese that we will be showing them what to do, right? Yes, there's two other Maltese's. This is, this is unusual that you'll get in the shop. I mean, it'd be nice if you get this all the time. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring in two other Maltese's. One is coming in a puppy clip, uh, half an inch all over the body. A puppy clip? Yes. Uh -huh. And again, I, I, I shy away from using that term because it's just loosely um, used for everything. But um, you'll see, there's different things you can do with a Maltese. So for this little one today, all I'm really interested in is just maintaining, okay? We want to make sure that there's no splitting. You can tell if there's splitting or breakage in the coat uh, just by basically seeing fra uh, fraz frazzles at the end of the, the, the hair. And they seem to be in pretty good shape, okay? There would be breakage and it look kind of... Um, just unhealthy. Like, just like split ends. Just on like our. split ends. Just unlike on ours. Okay. So she's in good shape. So if again, if you would get a dog like that, all you would do is just grab it in section. I'm going to show you how you would handle this. You comb it out. Okay. I would split this over here and hold it with a pin, right? And I would work in sections. She's like, a leg. Ticklish. Ticklish. <laughs> okay. And I would trim. Let's assume I was going to trim that much off of here. Okay. So about a half an inch, maybe less. And then I would take half of that and add it to this. Okay. Pull this back. I'm doing this from above, so it's a little difficult. And use the hair that I already cut as a as a guide to get it the same length all the way across. Okay. Okay. So oh, you want to trim her real quick, or? Well, she's you know basically she doesn't need the trim much. Again, I wanted to show you what what a breed like this should look like. Okay. okay? Uh, the only thing that we're going to do is her paws. All right. There shouldn't be any hair 
going beyond the pad here. So we're going to trim around this little area a little bit. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come around this over. I'm going to make sure I get it right. Maltese hair can be very unforgiving, so you got to be careful. Okay? A little bit at a time. Use my curves. And just make it neat. That's all there is to it. That's huh? all there is to it. You know, you don't want to. She doesn't want. You don't want to have her walk hair like she got a haircut. So when you bathe them, just regular shampoo and. You can use a whitener. whitener. Uh, important thing about and you, you'll see that you, we talked about this in the pet hygiene. Uh, anything with a full coat like this. So there you go. Take a look at all the vid, um, all the examples on the Maltese. You can, there's different variances, different lengths. Teddy head, basically the same with all with all uh, every type of Maltese. And you just you just alter it depending on the length of the coat. So have fun with it. Again, remember to watch the videos at least three times. And um, good luck out there. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye -bye. Well, thank you, Yvonne and uh, Dudu. Dudu, hey puppy. Okay.